So you mean to tell me that in this time and age, people still go to Lapo to borrow money to do wedding? Hey! My people call Lapo money, Bomule Lantern. Now let me explain to you. You see, when you put your breast on something hot or a lantern, do you feel comfortable? You can't even, you can't even place your hand on a lantern. Talk more of putting your, you know, on the lantern. That's how Lapo money is because by the time you're supposed to pay and you're not able to pay, they will track you down and they will lock you. I even hear they lock them inside some maggots infested toilet, you know. And I understand that it is that time of the year when we have wedding bells ringing here and there. I understand that you want to impress your friend. You want your wedding to be the talk of the society. But no key yourself. Oh. Don't because you want to impress people. You now go and borrow money to do wedding. You know, I did a survey and I asked people, how much would you be needing to do a wedding? And the least amount they told me was 5 million naira. Hey! In this noble economy. See, I'm not saying an elaborate wedding is not good. It is very, very good if you have the means to, in fact, you can paint the town red, blue, green, whatever. But if you earn less than a hundred thousand per month, please don't do an elaborate wedding. Please and please don't do an elaborate wedding. You're not trying to impress anybody because at the end of the day, you find out that even if you go and borrow money to do that wedding, there's 90 percent chances that they will not spray you money and you'll not be able to realize the money you have gone to borrow. You'll be restless, no peace of mind. Even on that wedding, you'll not be able to do the do because you you'll not be able to have erection because you are owing people here and there. Now, let me give you these tips. These tips will help you have a successful wedding, stress-free wedding. You won't have to force anybody to do anything for you. Borrow a dime from anybody. Yes. I did a video and I talked about the list of things you'll be needing for a wedding. You know, if you don't have money to hire a professional wedding event planner, that video will really help you to know the things you'll be needing for a wedding. The first thing that should be on your mind when you want to have a wedding is what do you need? What do you need money for? What do I need to sort out? Yes, when you are able to answer that question, you'll be able to filter your needs and pick the necessary and important ones and then leave the rest. It is not a must to do an elaborate wedding when you don't have the means of doing it. See, gone are the days when people will tell you, cut your coat according to your size. If you are a plus size like me and you have one yard of Ankara, you can't cut your coat according to your size because it will not be enough. If borrowing money to do wedding is not a wise decision at all. Your bride price list, that's the engagement list, should be your top priority. Focus on getting all the lists your bride family are requesting of you. And as a bride, please don't pressure your husband to do an elaborate wedding if you guys don't have the means to cost. I know now my gender can worry for Africa. After sorting your bride price list, the engagement list, you'll be talking about the hall of venue, that's the hall you want to use for the event or the reception or even renting a canopy for the event. Wow. Who says you have to? It is not a must. You guys can have your traditional inside your parents' parlor as a bride. And as a groom, find a way to convince your bride. Have the engagement ceremony in the parlor. That way, you're not spending money on renting a hall or canopy. You see? For your attires as a bride and a groom, wear what you have or find something affordable to wear don't break your bank account trying to impress anybody the fact is nobody cares like we don't care about what you wear yes so why trying to impress anybody a hall for reception who says you have to rent a hall or rent canopy for wedding or the reception why not fix your wedding on a sunday mm -hmm. and if you're worried that you want people to attend your wedding your church members are your guests and if you don't want to do that, who says you even have to fix a wedding when people have to come? Just go to your pastor's office for the blessing. I know a friend who did that. She didn't even hold a wedding of a Saturday or a Friday engagement. No, the engagement was done in the parlor. This is very, very important. The food aspect. It is when you invite about 500, 800 persons. You will not be talking about the kind of food, the number of food you have to give to persons. No. Who says you need to cook the usual jollof rice, fried rice, moi moi, and mobo tigbo to serve to your guests? No, you don't have to. Prepare puff puff, three pieces, and zobo, and give to people. And that is if you need to give to them. It's not even a must. You give to them. Yes. But if you must, give them puff puff and zobo. You think they will mock you? You think they will talk about it? No, they will hail you. 
for making a wise decision for making a wise choice mm -hmm. this one is very rampant the ashwabi part of course you and i know the reason why people sell ashwabi is to raise funds for themselves now ashwabi has caused a lot of fight among friends because imagine you now inviting me as a friend to your wedding and your ashwabi is even higher than my salary Will I be able to afford it? No. See, they will not say it to your face. They will talk behind you. Imagine you selling an ashebi to a friend and majority of your friends are not able to buy your ashebi because it's very expensive. They can't afford it. Or some will even collect their ashebi and then they will end up not paying you. If you guys don't fight, you will lose some friendship because of ashebi. You don't want that. So, if you're picking a color for that day, let's say you want to even pick a color. Tell your friends and family. This is the color of the day. If you have anything close to this color, please wear it and come. And as simple as that. You need photographer, right? You can just get somebody with your phone, snap, and that is all. And if you need to, just get somebody who you know is very good, but at least still affordable. And then you're good to go. So what do you need for a wedding again? That's about it. I'm telling you, if you're able to follow these steps, you have a very stress-free wedding. And you'll be able to invest whatever gift people are giving you as cash for your wedding. You'll be able to invest it in a business that will help your family. And, of course, you're not owing anybody. Is God not wonderful? Please don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and please comment.